Now then guys, welcome to Strides Gaming and welcome back to my Football Manager 2024. Let's play with Leicester City. And today is probably going to be the weirdest episode we've had so far. We have a game against Leeds, they're in third and they've been kind of behind us for the majority of the season but we have now got a nine point gap on them. And then we have the Cowbell Cup final against Norwich who are also in the championship. And are also chasing for promotion. Let's get started, shall we? Right, so here is what the league table looks like. We are nine points clear at the top as things stand at the moment. Southampton and Leeds are on the same amount of points. Leeds were up there at one point. At one point, Leeds were top of the table. So they're flying high from their uh, relegation, their own relegation battle. But yeah, like I said, we're playing Leeds today and then we have also got Norwich in the Carabao Cup final. So what have we been doing up to since we get to this episode? I kind of rushed to get here, to be honest with you. We have, we've we've had the transfer deadline date. I weren't really bothered about that. And we've kind of gone through and we've absolutely romped it the past few games. Ever since getting into this final, yes, we've been knocked out of the FA Cup. Not a problem at all. I don't mind that. Um, we're getting towards the back end of the season. If we manage to win this, this is great because we're going to go back into the Premier League, back into Europe as well. Um, we need to build a, a big team. But we beat Stoke 8-0 again, and I'm pretty sure this season we've already beaten Stoke 8-0. We have. So this season we've beaten Stoke 8-0 twice, but this time they had two men sent off. Um, we had Pereira on the score sheet. Youngs got himself a hat-trick. Vardy got two goals. Justin got a goal, and then they got an own goal. But Justin's... That should have been counted as Justin's goal. Uh, then we had a 3-0 victory against Swansea. Youngs and Nacho on the score sheet. Obviously, unfortunately, Ineacho, he is leaving at the end of the season. We couldn't get him to sign a new contract. Team and I offered him about £90,000 to stay. He's going to Monaco on £60,000 a year. £60,000 a week. Don't know why. Um, we also then beat Watford 4-0. Um, again, Nacho getting on the score sheet, but uh, McAteer as well. Middles were, was, well, Chef Wednesday, sorry, was 5 0. In actual, getting four goals. Gomez, who you've not seen yet play in an episode, who we've got on loan from Man City, he managed to pick up his first goal for us as well. Then we played Middlesbrough. Again, another 5 2 victory. Uh, Young's on the score sheet, Vardy, and in the actual, getting himself a hat trick. We've done well. And the good thing about this, we have had like four clean sheets in a row there. Yes, we conceded two goals against Middlesbrough. And it's probably partly down to the new goalkeeper we've got. But prior to that, we were struggling. Um, I've still not learned how to say his name. We'll just keep him calling him Anthony for now. Because I definitely butchered it in the last episode. Again, as of recording, I'm still have still not uploaded any of these onto YouTube yet. So if you again, if you're watching it at this point, leave a like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. But yeah, Leeds game. Let's get straight into it. Let's see how we're gonna line up against Leeds. So this is what we're going with. We have changed the tactic a little bit, just due to injuries, I'd say. But the, everyone's back now, but it seems to be working, so I'm not going to change it. So it's the 4-2-3-1. It's working well. The back four with Anthony's obviously in goal. Justin, Fast, Cody and Gomez. Justin and Ricardo... Yeah, um, Ricardo Pereira. Them two are kind of swapping roles here on this right-hand side. Purely because they've both played a lot, a lot of football. And they can both play on this side. Justin can play on the left. But it's good that Gomez has come in. He's capable. He can play in that role. So he's done well for us. So it's good that Justin can go back onto this right-hand side. We've got players coming back next season that can play on this left. It means the right-hand side is sorted. Uh, Drewsby Hall and Ndidi as the midfield duo. Then we've got McCure on this right-hand side. Partly because of... There was injuries, but everyone's kind of back from injury now. So, But it's fine. It's not a problem. We've got Madidi, who's almost back from injury. Fatui, who is who's injured. And Young's in the middle. McAteer on the left. And Ineacho up top. There's no point changing it. This team is absolutely flying. Ineacho with 29 goals for us this season. Vardy's got 22. Uh, Drewsby Hall got 10. Young's has been on flying form of late with 14 goals for us this season. Young's is definitely one I'm probably going to look to sign at the end of the season. Uh, Cassidy in midfield, possibly. We're going to have to see if we can get him. I don't know how much money he's going to cost. He's at Chelsea at the minute, whether we get him on loan again. Um, his value is about 30 to 40 million. I don't really want to spend that much on him, but if I have to, I will do. 
I do think we're going to need to get another centre back. Um, Connor Cody and Walt Faust is a good combination. For the Premier League, probably not. We're going to need someone to replace Connor Cody eventually because he's, what, 30 odd, 31. So he's only got another couple of seasons left in him, probably. Leeds are on the attack straight away here, but indeed he wins the ball nicely there. In the acto to McAteer, we're going to count a lovely. McAteer, and he loses it out. It's not a penalty, it was a good tackle. But ball gets whipped in. McCure here. Indeed, he's down injured, by the way. James Justin has the shot. James Justin scored. We've also got a man down. Uh, I don't know what's up with Indeedy. I don't know what happened there, but we're 1-0 up against Leeds. And, yeah, we'll take it. It was a bit kind of... The tackle came in to McAteer, but he's fine. Gomez crosses it in. McCure picks it up. Plays... What a cheeky little pass to James Justin. And James Justin just hammers that home. Um, Wilfred Ndidi though, I don't want him to get too injured because we are going to need him for the final. Uh, we're going to bring on Harry Winks. Harry Winks has been alright for us this season, not been amazing, amazing. Um, but he's done a job for his midfield. Again, the midfield, other than Jewsby Hall, they've all been kind of just, just okay. Obviously, you, you've got a ball winning midfielder in there. They're not going to be outstanding. They're not going to score loads of goals. They're going to just be a solid, just tackling. And then they're never going to get a high rating in, in the game's engine. But that saying, they're a solid, uh, solid key part to the team. Drewsby Hall, though, plays it to Youngs, to Connor Cody. He's just going to play this out to Gomez. I'm glad we managed to get Gomez in on loan. There was a couple of other... Oh, that was poor for McAteer. He's not having a great game, is he? In fact... Yeah, he's not really losing the ball again, really. But, yeah, there was another couple of signings I could have made on that left. Uh, one of them, I can't remember who it was, didn't get in just due to work permit issues. And I'm kind of glad because we don't need to buy anyone, really, because we've got the players coming back next season. We've got Christensen and we've got Luke Thomas coming back next season. Ball whipped in, though, from Leeds, from a corner, and that's it. See, not that bothered. I know we're going to defend really well. Right, corner for ourselves here. Gomez whips one in. I need to play around with the set-piece settings, but I'm going to do that next season. Not really fussed about it now. We're not getting as many goals as I'd like from the set-pieces, so I do need to go through it, set it all up. But for now, we seem to be doing well without scoring set-pieces. We're defending them okay. Um, that's the main thing. We're not conceding many goals from corners like Leicester normally do. What is Anthony doing there? That was poor from him, to be honest with you. Trying to play it out the back. His distribution... I don't really like. That was definitely his fault that we conceded a goal. It's not very often he makes many mistakes, but what I, what I have noticed, I just don't really like his distribution. And it was playing around with it at the back way too much here. And he just then tries to look for Gomez, who, yeah, just poor for him. And Spence is just there, beats the man, beats the defenders. And it's just one of them ones, you just know it's going to be a goal just from watching what happens. Anthony's on a seven rating. There you go, Drewsby Hall. He can hit it from here. He scored a couple of good free kicks for us this season. Hopefully top corner here. Top left corner. He hits it. He goes to top right. He scores though, doesn't he? 11th goal of the season. Them sort of set pieces, I really don't mind. But Drewsby Hall gets in, makes it 2-1. We're back in the lead. And yeah, wonderful, wonderful strike. Right, just before halftime, we have another highlight. Young's picks the ball up. Back to Justin, to Winks, finds McGill, crosses it, Ineacho hits the bar, Youngs, McAteer, oh, the front three had a chance then, all of them did, not playing particularly well, Nacho's not having the greatest of game, but Gomez is here, Gomez for the corner, crosses it in, finds Ineacho, there he is, he gets his 30th goal of the season, that's ridiculous. Well done Nacho, you're having a, sh a rubbish game, a 6.3, but then you still manage to score a goal. I was going to probably take you off at half time. Maybe not now. This is kind of the form we need him to continue because we really do want to uh, win this set, uh, the next game. But 3 1. At the moment, we are, I think, 14 points clear at the top of the table with a game in hand. I think we should be okay for going up. Highlight to Leeds. The first highlight of this half. 55 minutes on the clock and. And it's a Leeds attack. And Leeds just... We have a habit of just letting their players just run around us. Um, we don't really close them down or anything. We just kind of turn and let them run and have a shot. And you do that in the Premier League, we're going to concede goals. We do need to probably go a bit more... 
closey downy maybe. But then again, the premiers, Premiership clubs we've played this season, I Man City and also Manchester United, we've both beaten in a, a fair dues in the cup game, and it wasn't Man City's full strength team. It was definitely their, their their B team. But still, Man City's B team is a good B team. James on the ball for Leeds United. I thought he was going to just rip that one into the uh, into the goal. He didn't. That's fine. Let's make some substitutions. I am thinking now ahead of the the cup game. So I'm going to bring on Patterson Dacker. Then just looking... I'm going to switch. Let's just have a look to see how James Justin's doing. He's having a good game. I'm actually going to bring on Ali. Ali, you've seen him. He played well against Man City. He's, he's now turned 18. His potential is really, really good. Apparently, he's a Ramon National North player, but he, he's been doing well since we've been playing. And then McAteer is probably going to come off. I'm going to switch McCule onto that left-hand side, and then I'm going to bring on um, Beniotti on this right-hand side. Let's make four substitutions. And then I'm thinking him potentially taking James Justin off to uh, rest him. Bring on um, Pereira. What's going on there? Offside or a penalty? Looks like a penalty. It is a penalty. I don't really know. I don't like the penalty system because I can't tell why it's a penalty or what's going on. But it's now 3-2. This game is not over yet. The game is definitely not over. I know I am just... I've got one eye on this cup final and I think the, the players have have it as well. So we just need to focus a little bit. But James Justin probably conceding this goal. There we go. We've just won a penalty there. I think that's going to be... Is, is it Daka that's going to... No. Oh, okay. Beniotti's going to take it. Is he going to get his first goal for the club? He's, he does. That That is wonderful from the penalty spot. Don't know why he's taking penalties. I wonder if his penalty taking's good. That'd be nice if it is. I'm, I can't really take the other thing. I can't really take the... A defender. Yes, I can, actually. I could take... I'm trying to think who I need to rest more. Like, for example, Drewsby Hall... Walk fast, maybe. He's not having a great game. James Justin. It's now 4-2. I do feel like we've we probably now have this one in the bag, but I don't know. I don't know. Obviously, it could, could end 4-4 this game, or it could be 5-4 to Leeds. We don't know. we hopefully get another another goal, though, because it's we're good at scoring goals. Connor Cody, we almost pay, played that pass a little bit too short there. Ali plays it to Drewsby Hall. Back to Connor Cody. We're, we're passing the ball around nicely here. If it comes from a goal, it'd be good. James Justin to Youngs. Youngs is in. Youngs scored. That is how I want us to play. Nice. It's disallowed because of offside. That's annoying. But still, I want us to play a slow passing game. I used to be high tempo passing, quick short passes. But I think slow it down. The team doesn't get too shattered. And you can just try and find and pick your spot. And you can up the tempo if you need to. But McCule is in. Finds a cross. Patterson Dak is there for his 10th goal of this season. He's potentially our main striker next year. Unless we bring in someone else. And we're going to need to bring in another striker. We've got Tom Cannon who we signed from Everton. Who's got a really nasty injury. And I can't see him coming back and playing for us unfortunately. There's the fifth goal. Let's make the change. Do we... Young's is the one that's looking more tired. We can put Drewsby Hall up there, and then we'll bring on Cassidy round about there. We'll, we'll do that as the uh, as the substitution. I probably should have left some of them earlier on, but oh well, it's fine. What farce. So Harry Winks to Connor Cody finds James Justin finds Beniotti. We we've, we've scored six. You're finally watching us dominate against the team and it's just been like this maj the majority of the season when I can actually speak it's generally been like this majority of the season we have been all over teams scoring goals we've conceded a few stupid goals but yeah whether it's the tactic whether it's the team that are just way too good for this league I'd say yes I've got a feeling next season's going to be different especially if we win this Carabao Cup and we've got European football to play um, that's going to be a big ask. We weren't expecting that in the second season, but I'm saying it like we've won the game. We, we haven't. We've still got to play Norwich. We're not having a bad season themselves. But we've just demolished Leeds 6 2. So, yeah, that was good. 
That's a bit good, isn't it? Now I'm going to go rest the players. And this is what I do after most of the games. And I, I, I don't know whether you should do this or not. Because I do feel like they miss some training. But it definitely helps. When you're going to training and resting for two game, two days after a game. I feel like it does help. But we're going to get straight into this Norwich game. And fingers crossed, we're lifting a trophy in the first season of the save. Let's get into it. Right then, guys. Here we are for the final. Uh, I am dressed, ready to go to work. I'm meant to be going to work in the next 10 minutes. I am massively rushing to try and get this episode done, but I really wanted to uh, play the cup final. We've made a couple of changes to start the cup final with. Hermsman's going to come in to goal. I know Anthony's had a great start uh, to his life at Leicester City, but Hermsman, I feel like he deserves to be in the cup final today. James just in on the right, but Ali's coming on the left. Um, Gomez has his cup tied, so I'm going to keep... Justin on that right-hand side. Ali's done well when he's played in these sort of games. And I'm going to start Jamie Vardy up top. Partly because it's going to be his last time to probably get into a final with Leicester City. I don't know if he's going to retire next season or not. And I just don't know as well if Nacho's head's going to be in it. He's leaving next season. Big game like this. Is he going to really want to win the cup? Yes, I'm sure he will do. I'm sure he's a professional and wants to win the cup. But we just need to... Uh, Carry on where we left off with everyone else. I've not changed the formation. I was tempted to change, play the three at the back, play the 4-3-3. The three, three. We've been playing majority of the season, but this formation right now has been playing... We've been doing well with it. Uh, Jamie Vardy... Was that Vardy or Yuns that headed that on? But it wasn't particularly great from the goal kick. And Norwich were on the, uh, on the attack straight away. And... It's not looking, not looking good. Rowe is in for Norwich. He shoots. They score. We go 1-0 down within eight minutes. This is not an ideal start for a cup final for Leicester City. And, yeah, I'm going to skip the highlight. I literally really need to set off to go to work. So, we're going to have to uh, rush in to get through this. Youngs to Ali. McAteer. Right, come on, lads. Loses out, but Youngs picks the ball up. Youngs is in. Plays it to Ndidi. Ndidi shoots. Ndidi scores. It's 1-1. Within nine minutes. That is the sort of play we want to do. That is wonderful. I thought Yuns was really going to have a chance and have a shot, but he didn't. He was very selfishly. Plays it to Ndidi. He manages to pick up a goal. Like Yuns here, I thought his first touch was bad. And this one here, I thought he was going to hit it. But no, he plays it to Ndidi. Takes one touch, brings it into the box. Scores for us. It's 1-1. Okay, we're back in it. All right, half time. 1-1. Um, I'm going to say I've been disappointed with him in the first half. I feel like that's a... A solid thing to say to him. I might actually change the formation a little bit here, thinking about it. What I might do is McKeel's not have a great game. I'm going to do that. Bring on a defensive midfielder. Drop Ndidi back there. Bring Cassidy on. Swap them two rounds. You can go as a ball winning midfielder. You can go as a box to box midfielder. And this has worked for his majority of the season, so we might as well just stick to this. It has worked the 4 3 3. So we'll, we'll, we'll go back to it. We'll revert back to it. Obviously, this is what we were playing before we had the injuries. Uh, Young's cross tries to look for Young's, but doesn't quite get there or do anything with it. Um, we have got the option to play at the three at the back. Cassidy wins the ball now. Vardy. He's been very quiet in this cup final so far. It's going to be his last few touches of the game because I will bring on. I've gone very quiet there. I feel like that was going to go in. I am going to bring on Nacho, I think. Vardy's not had the greatest of games. McAteer on that left as well has not, not been great. Vardy, can he win that header? He doesn't. Cassidy wins it, though. He's looked good since he's come on, actually. Won a couple of key balls in the middle here. McAteer, normally playing on this right-hand side, but due to some injuries we've had on the left, he's out on the left at the minute. And it's where he's got his hat-trick in the last um, couple of games. It's where he's where he's been scoring most of his goals coming in on that left. So he can, he can play there. Cassidy picks the ball up. He's been out on the team, actually, Cassidy, for the past couple of games. And Didi, oh my God, Wilfred and Didi with an absolute wonder strike. Yes, it took a deflection going in, but I think that's going to be down as an Ndidi's goal, is it? Or is it down as an own goal? I don't know. But Cassidy, since he's come on, has looked good. He's been solid for his midfield. And the change of shape as well has worked. Indeed, he picks the ball up. First strike, it's a massive deflection. It should really go down as an own goal. Um... Did it go down? Yeah. Has it gone down? No, it's gone down as an Ndidi goal. Okay, we're 2-1 up 
in the final of the Carabao Cup. We're bringing on Ineacho, taking off Jamie Vardy. That's his last contribution to the game. He's not been great. I'm just looking at the defence and see how they're doing. Fast is not having the, his greatest a game. I can bring on Harry. Harry can play. And what is the ref doing? The ref was getting in the way of our player there. That is not ideal. Norwich are on the attack. And I was saying about the defence not having the greatest of games. And what fast I was on about bringing off. Ball whipped over the top. Ball played into the middle. A bit of a scramble and a bit of a mess. Fast managed to get it clear. Cassidy then is cleaning up the mess. Ball over the top. Ineacho's in. Great play for him. Plays it out to Young's on the right. Plays it back to Ineacho in the centre. Back to Young's. Ah, a bit of a long pass for him. But he still gets to it. Cross comes in. Keeper comes out and gets it. That was a little bit wasteful from our side there. It really was. I'm going to make a change in defence. I'm going to bring on Harry. <coughs> Excuse me for fast. As a central defender. I also have. I'm just having a quick look. To see how Ali's getting on. He is. I might put Justin on this left hand side. And bring on uh, Ricardo Pereira. Just to try and show up the defence a little bit. More. I feel like that that should should be a thing. Obviously, Ricardo is looking quite tight. That looked like handball there. But Harry picks the ball up. First interaction from him. <sighs> Plays a, a risky pass in the middle there. I don't like it when we pass across a defender. But it's fine. Justin is going to play it backwards, isn't he? He is. To Connor Cody. Indeed, he's Ricardo to play Nacho in. He finds the pass. Oh, no. It looks like he was going to find the pass to James Justin couldn't quite get the pass there and I'm getting nervous but Harry's there central defender doing well covering Indeedy Drewsby Hall in actual we just need that one more goal just need that one more goal Yuns is in Yuns with the shot as a good save from the Norwich goalkeeper there puts it out for a corner and we should have scored Drewsby Hall is going to take this corner we've not done great with corners as of late um, I do need to play around with set pieces um, but that is for next season. I'm not going to faff around with it now this season. There's no point. We're too late on to play around with the set pieces. We'll do it at the beginning of next season. But Drewsby Hall, we've got another free kick deep in their half. Yuns is going to pick it up. Is he going to hit one from there? Yuns, Yuns crosses in. Nacho's there to tap it in. Is he onside? I'm sure he is. It's his 31st goal of the season. 3-1 in this final. We're looking strong. We did go 1-0 down, but we are a team that scores a lot of goals. You've seen it with the results we've had. And this is going to be wonderful. If we manage to win this game, get into Europe for next season, it's just going to bring in extra cash for us. And that's the that's the main thing, surely. We're just going to have to bring money into the club. It's going to also make players want to join us as well. And that's the that's the other thing. It's just We need to try and... Like Tammy Abraham, I wanted to sign, but he wouldn't come to us because we were in the championship. We had a, an agreed deal for him. But it just didn't work. I feel like he would be a good swap for Ineacho with him, with him leaving at the end of the season. McAteer loses out there, unfortunately. 70th minute on the clock. 20 minutes to go for Norwich. Breaking down the middle to Gibbs. Norwich in. That's a great pass from Gibbs. And that is a lovely goal for Norwich. I'm going to drop down to balance. I'm getting a bit nervy. I'm thinking maybe take off McAteer. Potentially he's not have been having the greatest of games. On this right hand side, Beniotti. Oh no, we've made all our subs. Okay, we've only made four subs. I can't make five. I wonder if I've I did them all differently with my stoppages. That's annoying. Right, this is the team then, unless we get gets into extra time, but I don't want to touch it. I'm not touching the team, I'm not touching the shouts. It's three two, the time is ticking away. Six minutes of added time. It's a corner to Norwich. I can't watch. I'm going to watch it through my hands. And they've scored, haven't they? It's 3-3 free, free going into extra time. I don't have time for this. I have to go to work. And this is not what we wanted. Is it penalties or is it extra time? I'm going to skip it. I don't want to watch it. I'm going to go back to it. I'm going to go attack and see if we can nick a goal in the left. Oh, my God. We could do, you know. A corner. Last minute of the game. We've not been great with set pieces this season. McAteer whips one in. Finds Ndidi. Finds Ndidi again. Oh, my God, Ndidi. He goes close. He's offside, unfortunately. Um, oh, my God, it's still going on. Why is the ref not blowing the whistle? Ineacho wins the ball there with a the header. I thought that was going to be he was going to intercept that and win it. But 
I don't want heartbreak in the last minute of the game. I know we've gone attacking. Wins the ball. Connor Cody plays it to Cassidy. To McAteer. To Iniacho's in. Iniacho scores. Oh my God. Was he onside? I think it's going to be ruled for offside though. I do think it's going to be offside. I'm not going to celebrate just yet. Disallowed. It was offside. It was just offside. I could tell when the ball came in. Like He was there. He was just offside. This is going to extra time. I don't need extra time. Partly because have I got an extra sub now? I can make one more sub. I am going to go and bring on Patterson Dacca and take off Wilford Ndidi. So that's what I'm going to do. But I am going to take it off attacking. We're going to go to balance. We're going to go for the 4-4-2. Everyone's knackered. Oh, they've just scored. We're going to have to go attacking. Oh, ah. I thought we had a winner, you know. I thought we had a winner with Nacho, but obviously with him being offside, I can't afford this to go to penalties. I'm going to be so late for work. It's ridiculous. Harry, Yuns, Cassidy, Ricardo. We need to get a goal. What a final this is. Two championship clubs as well, by the way, playing this final. Two championship clubs. No Premier League team involved. Ball comes in. I thought that was going to be Norwich. I feel very deflated right now. Partly because I know I'm going to be late for work. I partly feel like we don't deserve to lose this game. We've been so good this season. I just don't want us to lose this game. Drewsby Hall's had a bit of a poor game. He's not been here. McAteer's not been great on that left-hand side. Defence have not been great. Iniacho's not really showed up. I know he's on a 7.4, but not been great. Drewsby Hall, though. Drewsby Hall to Youngs. is in with the shot, and Youngs, as well, has not been fantastic. He's on an 8.2, but he's had his chances. He really needs to try and take them better. We've had a... Just how many chances do we need? We need to put them away. Played a short corner. Drewsby Hall loses out. Cassidy heads it from a clearance from their defender. Drewsby Hall. Oh, no, it's Cassidy going to be taking this free kick, not Drewsby Hall. Cassidy is going to go for it, though, and forces a save from the keeper. And this is not boding well for us at this moment in time. And sorry, I'm just trying to work out how quick it's going to take me to get to where I need to go today. I'm nervous. Very nervous. McAteer. Corner kick. Not doing anything to it. That's the end of the first half of the extra time. Um, I'm just going to demand more. Come on, guys. We're creating chances. We're just not scoring. Do Norwich deserve to win this? Do we deserve to win? It's been a hell of a game. It doesn't deserve to go to penalties anyway. I know that much, but... I thought we were going to win it. We had it won, and we just let it slip away the last minutes of the game. Cassidy, though, is running forward. We've got men forward. Iniacho's on the ball. Plays it to Patterson Dacca. Patterson Dacca shoots. He scores. He's onside. Right. The man that's going to be there for his next season, at least, Patterson Dacca, I know he's going to be there for us. How he's going to do in the Premier League, I do not know. But he's got 11 goals for us this season. Unfortunately, he's not going to be alongside any actual he's leaving. Patterson Dacca puts that ball in the back of the net. We have had... Do you know what? It's been very, very equal. Both teams are on a 3.6 for their XG rating. Both of us have had about over, well 20-odd shots. We've had more on target. This looks like this is going to penalties, and it really is going to penalties. Oh, right, let's just go. Let's get into penalties. I don't have time for this. But hopefully it's not a long penalty shootout. Come on, team. Nacho just makes it nice and easy. Really nice and easy. That is just a hell of a cup final chip from Nacho there. Right, Norwich. Good goal from Norwich. Hermsman's in goal. We gave him the chance. I feel like we needed to give him the chance for the final because he's played the majority of the games. Cassidy. Nice finish from him. Goalkeeper choice. I know we've brought the new guy in and he's done well for us. But definitely Hermsman's played majority of the season. I do feel like he deserved to be in the cup final. Nunes is going to step up for Norwich. 
I feel like the keeper could have saved that then. I really do. 4-4 though for a final. What a final this is. Drewsbury Hall steps up, shoots. He didn't have the greatest of games, but he puts us 3-2 up on the penalties. Gibbs is going to step up for Norwich. Come on, miss this. I just need them to miss one of them. It'd be so much nice if you did. And again, Hermsman, I feel like he went the right way. I just, he didn't have his kind of over, overhand up, whether it's just the goalkeeper's kind of, what's it? Ricardo's in the scores, animations. I do feel like the goalkeeper's are diving the right way and doing everything they can, but the balls are just not going in the back of the net. Um, just miss it. That'd be nice. Just a miss. No. Who have we got taking our next one? We didn't set up the penalties. Connor Cody. He smashed some in for us this season. He scored some goals. And he scores there. Right, we've done everything we can with these five penalties. It's going to go to sudden death next, unless they miss this penalty. Come on, keeper. Do something amazing. And save this and make us win the Carabao Cup. Make us get into Europe next season. Well, we're not quite in Europe, but... I dived the right way, but just didn't save it. I can't see a keeper at the minute saving these. I don't think it's in the match engine. I've not seen a keeper save a penalty yet. Young steps up and he scores. Can keepers save penalties? Are we going to have to keep, Is this going to be one of these horrible, like, 18, 17 penalty shootouts or something ridiculous? I'm nervous. I feel sick. I'm definitely late for work. And that's the first time I've seen Herzman actually get off the ground with his with his, with his dive. Patterson Dacca, the man that's got us the, uh, the fourth goal, steps up, shoots and scores. He takes his penalty. At least, at least we are going first. So if they miss, we've won. We don't have to take another penalty. I, I hate it when they miss. Then we have to take the penalty. 7-6 <sighs> on penalties. I hate penalties. I feel so sick. I really do. Miss it. <sighs> right down the middle. Come on. McAteer. He, not the greatest of games. He's had a good season for us. He's had a few injuries. I thought he was going to miss. I thought the key the keeper should have done better than that. I feel like the keepers are having probably the worst penalty shootout they've ever had. Who's up for Norwich now? Can I speed this up a little bit? I'm going to speed it up a little bit. <gasps> oh my god, we've won! The keeper can save it. They can save it. And we've just won the Carabao Cup on a hell of a 4-4 final in extra time. I am so late for work. It's ridiculous. But I don't care. We have just won the Carabao Cup. We're going to lift the trophy. That is sensational. I did say I want to win it this season. And we have. Come on, lads. Lift it up. Well done. There's the confetti. That is absolutely wonderful from us. Congratulations with the win. That is awesome. It really is. I'm not going to do the press conference. I'm going to go and get absolutely levered now with the team. Uh, we do have to focus on the league, but I'm not really going to do anything else now other than say thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure. I need to rush off to go to work, but I'm so late. But we'll be back probably for the conclusion of the end of the season. Um, I'm going to try and play through the majority of it. There's no point. There might be two games I'll play. We've got Norwich again. We're in fourth and Birmingham in seventh. And then we'll play the last game of the season to figure out where we're going to go from there. But we've just won the Cowboy Cup, ladies and gentlemen. We beat Leeds 6-2. It's just a hell of a team we're creating. But we've won. That is awesome. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you're staying safe wherever you are. Take it easy. And I'll see you in a bit.